What's up, YouTube? Steer Dog here. Going to be doing a dueling network dual commentary today. Going up against the manipulator. I go second. Go for the blind MST. Hit the wrong one, and I am mad. He breakthrough skills, and I'm like, oh god, I literally have no follow up play. Like seriously, blind MST, the wrong one, and then right off the bat, you're just gonna get pwned like that. He goes Kagasuchi, so. Kagasuchi in defense, he gets a double Gaioku, but I talked like in Summoner Monk, so I'm like, okay, now I'm able to do something. So I can excite on, kill his field, soul charge, and here the shenanigans start. So luckily I was able to top take Summoner Monk. Uh, that's why I was playing it over Tin Goldfish. I tried out the Tin Goldfish build. Personally, the Summoner Monks just have been overall better. Not to say Tin Goldfish is a bad card, but yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So now I can just go ham on this guy. Um, you know, Diamond Dire, my own card, then I have Launcher too, so I'm just going to search out all my freaking traps, and yeah, that's really much all I got to say. He still has a Kagasuchi in defense mode, but the problem is, if he turns it to attack mode, I can just 101 that, so, and if he just keeps in defense mode, I'll still be able to attack over it. I let my Archfiend die, and then he kills my other card. I uh, use Lavarval Chain's effect, Ditch Harris to search Archfiend, Normal Summon it, 101 his card. And then I upstart into Solemn Warning, I'm like, wow. I have Double Break, Infernity Barrier, and Solemn Warning set. Like, if some, if he finds a way to get past that, you are, like, the freaking god Yu-Gi-Oh player. That's all I gotta say. So, um, he's revealing he's playing Fire Kings with, you know, he is playing Gorilla and the one, what is that guy, Bear? So I can side in, you know, Debunks, and I think I set it in, like, Full House and Overworked. Because, you know, Full House is, Full House is pretty good against Madolche's. I don't know. Haven't gotten off Full House in a while, but it's still a pretty good card. I start out with the Stygian and Beatdown, and I have, you know, pretty good defensive traps. So there's no point of going for the Instant Fusion yet. I go for it here, and unfortunately is the Max C. So, no. You know, if you chain Max C to Instant Fusion, it's the automatic plus one no matter what. Any breakthrough skills, my Lavarval chain, that sucks so much. I try to activate it again, and he has Skill Drain. And, you know, that sucks too. Because now, you know, all my monsters are vanillas. And he sets Max C. I was like, why would you set Max C? And then he soul charges for one. He's at 1100, so, you know, I'm in a pretty, you know, I guess decent position. But the problem is, you know, um, he has that freaking, the Barang beatdown. And, you know, I could have Solemn Warning that soul charge, but I didn't really feel it was worth it. But now, looking back at this duel, I probably should have done that just to see what the heck was going to happen. He activates Tinky, and he special summons it from the deck, so I, I was asking him, wait, are you summoning that, or are you adding it to your hand? So he summons it, I overworked, and then he chains MST, so the chain will resolve backwards, and um, Tinky will be off the field and overworked, won't be able to activate. So at this point, you know, he attacks into my monster, he was probably hoping hoping it was a Harris, but you know, it was a, he goes Kagasuchi after he realizes it's Necromancer, I evac that. And then he goes Onslaught, that's perfectly fine. I had the debunks, so, you know, good thing I did side in those debunks. Debunks are just going really good. Like, they've shot up to around 25 or something like that from DN or something. So, debunks are just really good to get rid of the hands. They're just really good against, you know, artifacts and, you know, just a lot of stuff relies on the graveyard. He goes for the Curry Bandit and gets Circle, and I'm pretty much forced to Solemn that, even though I really don't want to. And, you know, at this point, I'm pretty mad because I can't top deck anything. Like, where the heck are my level 4 monsters? Or, where the heck is my freaking um, Archfiend? Like, I I've gone through half of my deck. I haven't got one Archfiend and, like, only, like, a couple level 4 monsters. Like, not even a Summoner Monk or anything. He goes Cowboy, and I'm at 100. And at this point, you know, I realize if I would have took um, drawn into a monster, I could have won because I could have activated Launcher. And then overworked for the heck of it, because I'm pretty sure you can overworked if there are no monsters that have more attack, because it doesn't say there has to be a monster with more attack. So I could have just launchered, full house, or no, launcher, overworked, and then full house all his sets, and then go for like a rank 4 play, or go for a levy air, then rank 4 play, or I could have just went, whatever it's called, acid golem, and attack over his monster. So, you know, acid golem is a really situational card, it can be really good. So, you know, game three, I go first, so I don't open that amazing. So, you know, I'm kind of mad about that because, you know, I started out, you know, pretty, you know, mediocre, you know, right off the bat. 
But, you know, I don't give up. I debunk his second Garunix, so that's just really fun. I, I love debunking Garunix. It's just, it feels so good. I'm just saying. I have Trap Stun set. I top deck an Archfiend. I'm like, thank the Lord. Thank you. He activates Skill Drain, and then I Trap Stun. And I'm like, oh, wow. I can literally go off here. I Soul Charge for three to get back two Archfiends and Necromancer. And he has no response, so I'm pretty sure, you know, I can just literally go ham right here. So, that's, you know, exactly what I do. I discard, or I send one of my Stygians, activate Necromancer to get another Necromancer with the Archfiend. I go for Black Ship to kill that, you know, since I can't attack because of Soul Charge. You know, Black Ship's just really good. It's really good against the hands, you know, the hands have gotten, you know, the hands are like splashing everything these days, to be honest. You know, even in Gear Gear, and I was looking at freaking Gear Gear hand decks, it's like, I might try that out later. You know, either tomorrow or something, I don't know. You know, so far Infernity's been going, you know, pretty pretty decent. You know, I still hate when I get these just terrible dead hands. But, you know, once the once Infernities start going, you know, they just j they just keep on going, I'm just saying. And at that point, he just quits after I barrier his thing. I don't even care because he's, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to activate another one? I mean, even if he goes Garunix, you know, he still can't pop his, pop, pop my field because, uh, you know, because of Skill Drain. Um, but, you know, looking back at this duel, you know, I probably, if I would have Solemn Warning his Soul Charge game 2, that could have changed stuff, and, you know, if I would have drawn to to a freaking Archfiend or something, you know, game 2, you know, it could have been a 2-0, so, you know, looking back on that, that's, you know, the stuff that could have changed this match. Anyway, it was a pretty good match, you know, I got a freaking, I think there was like 130 people watching, so thanks to the 130 people who were watching, really appreciate that you're watching my duels and stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this match. It's been StuDog with another dual commentary. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, rate, and subscribe.